Are you guys ready to please your family with a one-pot meal? This brisket shepherd's pie I'm cooking this week is just a thing to try. Stick around. All right, guys, the first thing that we want to do to get started on our brisket shepherd's pie, you can see I've got my cast iron Dutch oven here already heating up on the grill. I put a little oil in it. I'm going to put a little more. I'm going to go ahead and throw. I've got a whole white onion here, a large one. I'm going to go ahead and throw in. You can kind of tell I've had that on there a while, that pot. It's been on there for about 15, 20 minutes getting hot. Its fire was running about 400 degrees. So I'm going to blister up my onions. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a tray of portobello mushrooms. Now, I just wanna get them nice and toasty, get them going. And what we're gonna do is, once we get this in here and get these browned up just a little bit, we're gonna throw our brisket slices in, you can see. I've got those chunked up. It's about a pound and a half of meat here. And Once the mushrooms and onions get soft, we'll get the meat added. So we want to go ahead and get it seasoned. We're going to use our everyday rub here. Salt, pepper, garlic. It don't have any jalapeno powder or nothing in it. Get it all seasoned up. We're also going to use a little bit of Worcestershire. Now I'm going to get this grill lid shut, let these onions and Mushrooms go for about five to eight minutes so they start getting translucent. And then I'm gonna throw the brisket in and start warming up. We're gonna get ready to start building this shepherd's pie. All right guys, it's been about five to six minutes. You can see our onions and peppers here are getting right. They're getting soft just where I want them. I'm gonna go ahead and add in this meat here. It's about a pound and a half of chopped brisket like I said. Now. Just want to get this in there. We're just going to let it rest in the pot here and get hot and warmed up for about five to six minutes. Then we're going to come back, add some flour in and start making a roux. Get this shepherd pie looking right. All right, guys, we've had our brisket and our onions and our mushrooms on there about now. The brisket in there for about five minutes. The mushrooms and uh, onions have been in there for about 10 to 12. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour on this and get it mixed around. And then I'm gonna add in about three quarters to one cup of beef stock. It kinda of depends on how long you're gonna braise for. Now this right here is just gonna help tighten it up so when you add your frozen vegetables in and top it with your mashed potatoes, It'll have a little bit of a good creamy texture to it is what we're gonna have. All right, let's get that grill lid shut and get that rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little bit more. I tasted this a while ago. It needed a little bit more salt and pepper. All right, guys, we're gonna get in here. Our brisket, our mushrooms, our onions has made a perfect gravy consistency. What we're looking for I've got a 12 ounce bag of frozen peas and carrots I'm gonna mix in here. Remember, you wanna keep them frozen to the very end. They don't need much, they can steam in a bag on their own. You just wanna get them stirred around, get them incorporated into everything, and we'll get ready to top it with some mashed potatoes and cheese. Now that we've got our vegetables incorporated into the meat, I'm gonna go ahead and get it topped with 48 ounces of mashed potatoes. And remember, you can cut this recipe in half, you can use hamburger meat in it, you can make it your own, whatever you want. Now once I get that on there, I'm gonna come back with a little grated cheese. I'm being lazy today, this is just a quick meal. I should have shredded my own cheese. All right, now all we gotta do is get the grill lid shut, let this cheese kinda caramelize up and melt down and we're gonna be ready to eat. All right guys, our cheese is should be melted, it is melted. 
and it looks phenomenal on our mashed potatoes here. Let's get this over to the cutting board, let it cool and scoop some out to try. All right guys, the last thing to do is get in here and try this. Let's get some on our plate. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. Now, the last thing to do is get in here and try this. It smells delicious. We had a total cook time, I didn't tell y'all that, of almost an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. Depends on how much meat and mashed potatoes and everything you use. Mm. I'm gonna tell y'all, that's really good. Mm. That is probably one of the best meals I've made on the grill. Just honestly, a good eating family meal. Please guys, give this a try. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another recipe.